Hey everybody, Caleb here, and today we have another video for the channel. Today we're trying to answer a question that I'm sure a lot of us have been asking in this season when it comes to youth ministry, and that is how do we engage and have fun when we're having to do everything remotely via Zoom, Instagram Lives, Facebook Lives, YouTube Lives, that sort of a thing. And so today I have three things, three games, activities, whatever you want to call them, that will help you engage and have some fun with your community and your students. Just some fun ways that you could utilize these live streaming options to still have some good services. But really quick, before we jump into those three things, can you drop a like on this video if you're somebody trying to do some live stream services and have activities? Also, if you don't mind, subscribe to the channel. It means so much. We're on the road to 300. Love to get there sooner than later, and you can help make that happen. And so let's jump on in, though, and start to discuss what these three kinds of activities or games we can do via live streaming options. Number one is is actually to be utilized during your Zoom groups. I'm sure a lot of you, if you're doing live online things, you're probably doing some Zoom group options. And so the first thing that I wanna recommend is doing some Zoom show and tells. Now, this is something I'm stealing from my wife. She's awesome. She leads some college student leaders and something that they've been doing is going and taking time to do show and tells where it might be, hey, you got 20 seconds, grab something out of your room and you just take some time to show and talk about it. It might seem silly, it might seem weird, Weird. It might seem awkward, but in a season of doing online everything, everything we do is different. Everything we do is a little bit weird to the normal. And so doing this, it's going to create some time for people to share, to engage, and also just get to have some normalcy and getting to talk about and learn about the people they're doing life with. And so number one, do some Zoom group show and tells. Only needs to take about 30 seconds to a minute per person, depending on how long they want to talk, but it's a fun way to connect right off the bat. Number two is to do some food drop giveaway. For the youth ministry that I get to work out, we did these for Easter Sunday. You know what? We were able to go in. We made a YouTube video. We had it where students could either comment on that YouTube video, text their life leaders, or DM our Instagram or Facebook accounts with a certain thing to get a certain prize. So for example, if they commented what our current series of talks and sermons was along with their favorite ice cream flavor, they got an ice cream delivered to their house. And so we went about doing this. It was a really easy way to have some engagement, have people watching through the entire video, wanting to see what those things were. We did some sketches, some skits, and also had a devotional at the end. So really easy way. Another example is you could have them text their life leader instantly. You know it's a student who watched it because they have their life leader's contact info. Or we had them message our account saying their life leader's names and their favorite candy. Different things like like that. And so that third option that you guys would be able to do is to do some comment voting. Now again, it's not necessarily a ton of a game, but what they're commenting to vote for can make it a game. And so for example, me and one of our other youth pastors are going to start this thing on Sundays where our students get to vote for what we're having for lunch, but it's not normal things. So for example, this last Wednesday night, we came up with the idea that we would be doing some devotionals while eating a sandwich. The sandwich will have some peculiar ingredients in it. For example, our students were able to do comment voting within our live stream service on Wednesday night where they were voting for what our main protein in it was. It was like sardines, chicken hearts, or a cow's tongue. Not normal, but our students then for a minute got to comment as many times as they could comment, counted as a vote, and it ended up determining what we were having. I think we're having cow ton. And then at the end of the service, we also had another one minute window where they got to comment for what our main condiment or kind of just like thing on the top of it was going to be. And we did things like horseradish sauce, hot sauce, and apple cider vinegar, I think was the third one. And again, they're commenting to vote what they want to see happen. And then that leads to another stage of engagement on Sunday when they get to watch this gross thing they helped make be consumed by us. So you have it where with that one, it's still creating engagement. You're still having that take place and you could do it for gross things. You could do it for just a normal thing, but it's a way to have engagement and activity within your service while you're still in this kind of live streaming format. All right. So for today, that's all I have for you guys. I just wanted to throw these out as the three ways I've seen it done. Well, you could do zoom group show and tells. You could end up having 
having commenting or messaging to get some drop-offs or snacks, that sort of a deal. Or you could do commenting voting for some kind of youth group decision or torture if you're the youth pastor or youth leader that they're voting to see something happen to. And so with all that being said, I just want to say thank you to you guys for checking this out. If you don't mind, drop a like on this video if you found any of these as good options for your youth ministry. Also, comment down below, what are some things you've been doing as a youth group to stay engaged and having it where over these live stream formats, your students are still having some fun with it. And also, make sure to subscribe if you have not yet. Would love to see the channel continue to grow and continue to let me know that people are enjoying this content and it's also beneficial for you. And so, with that being said, thank you guys so much for checking this out and I will see you, see you next week.